Yes, good morning, uh, Your Excellency, Dr. William Bruto. Uh, my name is uh, Albert Nyakundi Amenya. Uh, I'm the Secretary General of uh, GUSI Young Professionals. Um, Your Excellency, this morning the people of GUSI land uh, have sent me uh, to deliver a message uh, to you. Uh, the people of GUSI land are concerned that uh, since you were elected, uh, you disappeared. You've never set foot in in Gusiland, and uh, given the amount of votes that they gave you, uh, the people of Gusiland are worried. Uh, they are asking that why is it that during campaigns you used to visit Gusiland, uh, Kisi and Nyamira counties, uh, up to uh, record six times a month, sometimes up to eight times a month. You go uh, like three times a week uh, in Gusiland. But uh, since you were elected president, uh, we've never seen you there. Uh, people are wondering, what happened? Why did you disappear uh, so suddenly? Why is it that after they have given you their votes, uh, you ignore them? Uh, even when you are giving out uh, government positions, uh, for example, CSS and PSS, uh, you rewarded those regions uh, that did not vote for you. That those regions that uh, gave you a, a lot of opposition, a lot of uh, uh, resistance, those are the people you rewarded more. Uh, for example, you gave uh, Western Province, uh, of course they voted for you, but uh, not uh, uh, massively as expected, uh, save for Moses Wetangula's uh, backyard in Bungoma. Uh, the rest of Western uh, did not vote for you that uh, uh, that immensely, but you rewarded them. You gave them four CSs. Uh, when you come to Gusiland, you only gave us one. Uh, go to Kambani, for instance. Uh, they did not vote for you. They were in Azimio, but you gave them two uh, cabinet secretaries. And in fact, people are wondering that even some of these people that are being rewarded are little uh, or not known to anybody. Uh, I don't know the modalities that you are using, but the, the reason why the people of Gusiland asked me uh, to come and deliver this message to you is because I was one of the people from Gusiland who was in the forefront to ensure that you are elected the president of Kenya, and it came to pass. Now people are asking, uh, Banana Peddler, uh, that is my... Uh, that is my AKA. They are asking Banana Peddler, uh, when Mutu Yaruto, you supported Dr. William Ruto, uh, what happened? Why has he neglected the people of uh, Gusiland? Uh, and you know, Your Excellency, uh, you know, Your Excellency, the people of Gusiland, the leaders especially, are the most selfish people in this world. Uh, in Gusiland, it is every man for himself. Uh, when it comes to leadership. Once they are elected, they forget about uh, the people and they go to fight for their interests. That is why the people of Gusiland have asked me to come and tell you that uh, you've forgotten them. You know what happened uh, during campaigns, sir. Uh, in Gusiland, you saw the fights that were there, uh, the supremacy battles that were going on. You know the politics of Gusiland well, uh, more than anybody else. Uh, Your Excellency, you know the supremacy battles that were going on uh, from the rival groups, everyone wants to lead, uh, everyone wants to be close to you, but uh, unfortunately uh, it seems like the people you trust, especially uh, those people that are now in power, the people who are close to you, uh, are all con men, they are not telling you the truth, and that is the problem we have in Gusiland. People are not fighting for the people. The leaders are not fighting for the people. Once they are elected, they forget about the the common monenchi. Uh, they go and uh, uh, fight for their uh, stomach uh, uh, stomach development. Now, uh, Your Excellency, there are a lot of people who supported you in Gusiland. The people that you've neglected, Your Excellency. Uh, now we are wondering what happened. In fact, people are now starting to think that uh, they would have been safer under, pres under the presidency of uh, uh, former Prime Minister Raila Odinga. Uh, 
because now they are wondering uh, the, even if even after they fought for you even after they voted for you massively you've neglected them the only person who seems to remember them up to date who has come to say thank you uh, even in another form is only Raila Odinga but you disappeared your excellency but uh, the people uh, uh, now uh, the, the, the people now our people uh, are requesting that uh, now that the CAS uh, positions uh, have been found uh, to be constitutional, now they are expecting that you are going to give them at least three positions, three CASs. We have a lot of people who are capable. I'm one of them, but uh, let me not say I'm here to fight for myself. But there are people who are capable of uh, handling such dockets. Uh, we have people who supported you, uh, the, who supported you so much. We have people like uh, Wakili, your friend uh, Wakili Okengo Nyambani. Uh, Joel Okengo Nyambani is one of the people who funded UDA in Gusiland. These are the people who, in fact, they funded up to the tune of 100 million shillings. Okengo Nyambani spent uh, close to 100 million shillings in setting up uh, the UDA headquarters in Gutsiland. He gave a flat. He funded everything. Uh, that man has never been rewarded up to date. And uh, the reason why you've never rewarded uh, people like Okengo Nyambani, I'm told that uh, it is because of the people who are close to you. Those leaders from Gusiland who are close to you. These are the people who are telling you, no, don't reward this. In fact, I heard that... Uh, the other day they told you that uh, Okengo Nyambane is related to Matiangi, which is a lie. Okengo Nyambane is not related to Matiangi at all, at all. It is only the name. They only share a name, but they are not related at all. Now, uh, Your Excellency, now that these positions have been uh, found legal, uh, we, we will only pray that uh, you give us at least three positions to compensate uh, uh, to compensate uh, for the uh, to replace the worry that, that, that people had in you remember 2027 is coming and uh, people still have faith in you because if we go with this pace uh, people are now going back to Raila Odinga it is evident uh, because now if it is development you seem to be taking it to the region, to those regions, uh, to the people that did not vote for you, the people who did not believe in you. Uh, we've seen you take uh, uh, housing projects to areas uh, where people did not vote for you. You've taken, you've taken it to uh, Homa Bay, you've taken it to, I don't know, Machakos or other places like Ukambani, but you've forgotten Gusiland, Your Excellency. We are the people who supported you. Those are the people who voted for you. Omogusi voted for you. Uh, even if we don't have that unity that uh, we are supposed to be having as a community. But sir, you don't, don't, you don't just neglect us as like that because uh, people have now lost a lot of faith in you. People who believed in you are now uh, crying because they say that uh, they seem to have made a mistake. Because you disappeared suddenly. Uh, Your Excellency, lastly, I want to tell you that uh, we have uh, the sons and daughters from Gusiland who are capable uh, of handling uh, a lot of dockets, uh, sensitive dockets. Uh, uh, when you name the CSS, uh, kindly remember us. We have capable people. We have people like Charles Choyamatoke. We have a lot of people. We have our sister Millicent Omanga. We have a lot of them who are qualified. Kindly, don't forget us, sir. Don't forget us. Uh, so that uh, we forge forward. And as a community, we still believe in your leadership. It is still earlier. We ca you can still make amends uh, and uh, help your people. But don't rely on our leaders. Our leaders are con men. Most of them are con men. Those who are close to you are con men. They cannot tell you the truth. The people will be crying to them on the ground when they get to you. They don't say anything. They just told you that the people are fine. Whereas, people are not fine. You need people who will tell you the truth. You need people who will tell you, who will give you the real picture of the ground. So, Your Excellency, our request is that visit Gusiland soon. 
go and see your people, the people who voted for you, and uh, see how you can reward them because you seem to reward more. Even those online influencers, Your Excellency, you seem to reward uh, the people. And, uh, and this one is as I finish. You seem to reward the people who are against us. For example, I've seen a lot of uh, online influencers, the people who are fighting for you. We've seen they are now suffering. The people who are against us, those ones from Azmio side, uh, seem to be enjoying this government more than even those uh, uh, who are fighting for you. Uh, you wake up in the morning, you find that uh, one of the in, on online influencers on social media the one who was against you, the one who was abusing you, the one who was abusing Kenya Kwanza and UDA, uh, is the one now who has been appointed to uh, a, a big position, a big position. They are now the ones who are enjoying. They are laughing at us now. Uh, take that one into consideration too. Uh, because the people suffered. The people suffered under the Uhuru regime. Uh, because they were associating themselves with you, because they were supporting you, ensure that those people who did not who did not support you uh, are 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 put, are kept aside. Because you cannot neglect people who died with you and go for those ones. I don't know. Maybe it is the people under you who are doing this. You don't know. But uh, kindly consider that uh, so that uh, uh, at least. People can feel, people can enjoy the fruits of their labor. People can enjoy what they fought for and not the other way around, sir.